I just wanna find out my limits I'ma put everything in it I'm in this life to win it And this is just the beginning Once again, unboxing out of the red corner, Ali Hughes. And his opponent across the ring, boxing out of the blue corner, Mike Gold. Three two minute rounds over to Spencer. Three two minute rounds of action, Ali Hughes in the red corner, black with the gold trim, Mike Gold, veteran attack promotions with the black best stop. Mike, I've commentated on numerous times. Will fight anyone, anytime, anywhere. Seconds out for round one. And you've got to be on top form because if you're not, Mike will punish you. He's a master at conserving energy and staying in the pocket and he can bang. I've seen Ali Hughes a couple of times as well. And Ali starting fast and hard. Getting better with each bout for me, Ali Hughes. And this is a good test for him in Mike Gold. As I said, Mike has been in there with virtually everyone, knows how to look after himself and can be a right handful. Often, though, he takes the bouts at short notice and steps straight in. I think he asks who it is afterwards. But good, sensible boxing here from Ali Hughes in the opening round. Good jab cross combination, he's staying tight and disciplined and he's got to watch for the replies because Mike Gold has got fast hands and he is heavy hitting. And I said he knows how to look after himself in the ring. So Ali working behind a solid jab here. Turns it to a hook, little smile from Mike Gold there. As he pushes forward, holds the head, there's the experience. Pushing Ali's head down, Spence warning him for it. Two vastly experienced men there in our referee. And Mike, Mike will use every trick to sap Ali's energy. And you can see the economy of movement from Mike. He only worries when his opponent is in punching range. Conserves energy brilliantly, this man. And looks to come firing back, backs Ali up onto the ropes. They step back, looping right hand from Ali and has to take one back. That's why he has to stay disciplined and focused. Mike will punish you if your punches get loose and wide. Good opening round, you've got to go with Ali for that opener. Did the bulk of the work and overall very good straight punches. Seconds out for round two. Two of three. And starts the way he started the first alley with straight punches, double jabs and straight rights. And as I said, technically, Ali's improving all the time. And it's a good measured start to the second here. Mike stays in the pocket with him, looks for the looping right hand. Doubles up the jab, Ali. Throws the jab to the midsection. And then doubles it up to the head. Mike smiling, but Ali accurate here. And picking up the points. Keeping that right hand high. Mike will look for the opportunity for an opening. And then look to reply when he gets the opportunity. But as I said, often takes bouts on very short notice. So the cardio is probably a problem for Mike on a number of bouts. Whereas just said, yep, I'll step in and, and box tonight. Jab cross there from Ali, Mike holds. Double jab again from Ali, the first one finds the target. Drops it to the body, just misses with the right to the head. Mike looks to respond. Working the body again, good tactics from Ali Hughes here. Steps back away from the left. Mike looks to push forward now and put Ali under pressure. And again, leans in, pushes his head in, looks to sap the energy from Ali. 
Double jab from Ali. Steps back as Mike comes in. And again pushes his weight onto Ali as he gets there. Left and right from Ali as he comes forward. Throws a left hook. Oh. So two rounds down. I've got red corner. Two rounds to the good. But Mike Gold there at various moments in that second round. Looked for the opportunity to come forward himself. As we now approach the third and final. Second out. For the third and final round. Third and final round. They touch gloves. Ali comes forward with the double jab. Right to the body from Mike as he comes forward. It'll turn that into a little corkscrew uppercut there, Ali. Nicely done. Change it from a jab to the uppercut. Both men trading punches to the body now. Ali steps forward with the jab once more. Doubles it up. Steps away from the reply. Jab cross coming forward. Looks for the big right hand over the top. Mike switches to the body. Doubles up the jab here, Ali. Keeps that right hand high. Steps away from the response. It's been a good disciplined performance from Ali Hughes tonight. Another upward curve for this young man. Tucks up as that right hand comes in from Mike. Throws his own left hook. Faking with that right Mike now as he comes forward. There's that fast experience coming into play. And there it is again, leaning in with the shoulder, putting his weight down on Ali. Clock chicken on this one. And stays focused, keeps his shape, Ali. As Mike pushes forward again, looking to dig deep into that midsection of Ali. Ali's just got to be careful now. He's got the points, he doesn't want to do anything silly because Mike has still got that power if he lands cleanly and he's got to finish his instinct Spencer will break last them last 10 seconds last 10 and Mike pushes in once more head down look at the head into the chin of Ali making it uncomfortable for him but for me Five. big win for the red corner good solid bout and Ali Hughes did the right thing against Mike Gold, negated the danger, kept the jab going well, worked well behind that jab, stayed focused, kept his shape, and I'm certain the red corner is going to take the win here. Let's have a round of applause for Ali and for Mike. After three rounds of boxing, we go to our judges' scorecard where we do have a winner by way of unanimous decision. Boxing out of the red corner. Yeah, good win for Ali, Ali Hughes as he continues his Hughes. development. And one more time, let's have a round of applause for Mike Gold, ladies and gents. Good fight, and trust me, I'm going to try not going out again. So